So far we have been using org mode mostly to write things down to create notes, but org mode is much more than that. And today we will dive into another chapter and we will start using org mode to get organized. And in order to do that, we'll start with the simplest possible notion, which is the uh, to-do headline. Before we start, I would like to thank the fantastic Emacs community on Reddit. They gave me a lot of interesting suggestions, so thank you. And one of them is the command log you can see now on the right. So as I type, you will be seeing all the, the, the keystrokes, all the commands I'm executing, I hope. This will be easier for everyone to follow along. So let's get started. So in order to get organized, let's create another chapter, chapter three. And in this chapter, let's start with, um, with some tasks. So for example, become an astronaut. And now I can convert any headline to a task by prefixing it with a to-do keyword, like so. I can create another task, let's say become a programmer, and this task is already, in my case, I'm already a programmer, at least I think I am, and there is another keyword, done. So by default we have those two keywords, to-do and done, but we can also create our own custom task statuses. And in order to do that, we need to change one of the variables in org mode. And in this case, the variable is called org to do keywords. So as you can see, in my case is already set. The value is already custom. So let's go to my config file and let's dive into this configuration. So here is my config and right now we are only interested in this line. In this line we define a sequence of statuses that we want to have globally for all of our tasks in org mode. So by, by default as I said there is to do and there is done and on top of that I defined three other statuses in progress for tasks that I'm currently doing waiting for any task that's blocked or delegated or not currently being done, but needed to be done, and cancelled when I decide that this task is no longer needed or I'm dropping it from my schedule. So beside the statuses, there is also the, the markers between the parentheses, and these markers are shortcuts. So T is for to do, I is for in progress, W is for waiting and, and so forth. And the bar, the vertical bar, is where we divide between active statuses and the done statuses. So let's go back to our org file and let's use those statuses. So become a poet. So I needed to cancel that. Become proficient in Emacs as in progress. And finally, let's say uh, become younger. So for this one, I'm waiting for a miracle. And uh, instead of doing it by hand, of changing the status by hand as we did with those four statuses, I can now use space MT. And at the bottom, you can see all the statuses and along with the shortcuts we defined previously. So for example, let's say I'm waiting for this to happen, so I'm pressing W and it changes right away. Let's try again, space MT, and now let's say, let's be realistic, it's cancelled. Once it's cancelled or done, there is a timestamp being added to each of those tasks. So in this case, where we uh, did it by hand, org mode didn't add the timestamp. But if we change this using the um, space MT, 
there will be the timestamp when this task was closed. Instead of using space MT, I can also use shift and the arrows left and right. So for example, if I go left, I can cycle through all the statuses and the same goes for right. So I can quickly select the status I'm interested in. Okay, but that's all good, but how we can use that? So we will cover that in the future episodes, but just to give you a glimpse how those statuses can be filtered and gathered from many files. Let's quickly open the agenda. So space O for open, A for agenda. And now we have this option here, T, for to-do lists. If I press that, I can now see all the statuses across all my files that are before the bar in the active state. So to-do in progress and waiting. And I can quickly filter them. So if I press one R, I only see the to-do. If I press two R, I only see in progress and so forth. I can also see the ones that are done and the ones that are canceled. For some strange reason, I don't know why zero error, so going back to the all doesn't work in Doom. So if you happen to know why is that, I'll be happy to know. Once you go out of the all view here in the agenda, um, I'm not sure how to go back to the all. Another thing is that here we see the file which is being filtered. Right now it's dummy, so it's the file we are using in this screencast. And there is a variable that allows us to define which file should be searched for tasks, for to-do items. And this variable is called org agenda files. For the purpose of this episode, I only limited that to one file, but you can add many files here. And once you open the agenda to-do list, you will see tasks or to-do items across those files you defined, which is very handy to see at a glance. For example, if you were using a file per project approach, you can see all the to-do from all the projects. But that's just the tip of the iceberg because there is a lot more to that and we can customize different views. So we will dive into that later. But for now, just to give you an example how you can use that, it's as simple as that. That's all for today. May the Emacs Force be with you. Before you go, I would like to invite you to my newsletter. I'm not very active on social media and I think email is the best way to communicate. So if you'd like to stay up to date, I will be sending one email per week, Friday evening, with all the materials we did during that week and some additional ones as well. Tips and tricks, articles. If you are interested, it'd be great to have you. See you next time.